Alrighty, welcome back to Adobe Audition Editing, and today we're going to be talking about audio effects, such as echo, reverb, all of those kinds of things. So, it's very similar to the noise reduction. If you don't remember how to do noise reduction, check the previous video. But we're just going to jump right into it. So, we're going to select this first bit of audio, which is where I say test, 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 test. And uh, we're just going to go to the effects up here and go to, let's add some reverb. We're going to go to full reverb like that. And it'll bring up this big complicated thing, which I'm going to be honest, I also don't know how to use most of these effects. But all you have to do is just mess around with some different things and you will get to know the feel of each effect as you use them more and more. So one thing that you do want to remember is down here in the bottom, there's the play button. Test, 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 test. With the loop option as well. And that'll allow you to uh, listen to the effect. You can turn it off. Test, 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 and on again, and just see what the uh, things do, and you can change the settings as you go to just try and really narrow in the sound that you're looking for. So we're just going to hit apply like that, and you can see that it added in some reverb. The Another effect that you're going to use probably fairly often is the amplitude. Go to amplify, and we can add in uh, or remove decibels and make it louder or softer. So I'm going to add in just a little bit like that. Test, 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 test. And that makes it louder, but it's not quite clipping, so we're going to be able to be, we're going to be good. So we're going to add it like that, and now you can hear that. Test number one. I added some reverb to the first word. Obviously, you can go in and add some more transitions between those effects if you want, using techniques that we've discovered, discussed already. But there is one other method to do this that will affect the entire piece without actually changing the uh, with, without being a destructive type of editing. And we're going to go over that now. So we're going to go back, control Z, and now we want to add reverb to the whole thing. And how do we do that? Well, we can do that through the effects rack, just like the noise reduction. So we go down to this point right here, click the arrow and add in some reverb, and we'll do some full reverb. And it's going to give a little bit of a warning because, hey, maybe this is going to be a laggy playback. So you just have to be careful of that, but you should be good as you go along hit OK, and this will bring up settings that you can mess around with, and then we're just going to close that out and we can take a listen. Test number one. It is reverberated the entire piece, and you can turn that on and off again, just like the noise or any other effect that you add on. It's the very same thing with the multi-track setting. You just go ahead and select the clip that you want to add in, make sure you're tabbed under clip effects, add in reverb, full reverb, ignore the warning, and then you've got your reverb like that. We can hit play. Test number one. And we can turn that off if we want. Test number one. And back on again. Test number one. And there you go. That is your reverb. And you can do this with any of the different effects. So we've got amplitude, we've got modulation, reverb. Those are the ones that you're going to be using very often. Maybe a time and pitch warp. And that will... Uh, most of these you're not going to be using super often, but when you do need to, that is how you do that. All right, see you next time.